Hey there, everybody. Happy Friday, August the 5th. I hope all of you are doing good. I have five new journals to go into the Etsy store, you guys, when I saw this beautiful paper pad called Magical Thinking at Michael's. I was <laughs> I immediately just kind of uh, rifled through the paper pad and I thought, wow, 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 you know, that would make some super cool uh, journals that would have double pockets in them but my idea was to make an uh, a really uh, functional journal so whether you use this as a daily journal or as a planner maybe a dream journal maybe a discovery journal it has plenty of writing spaces for you as well as creative spaces and if you're stuck for creativity the two pockets have all kinds of things to enhance your sheets and embellish your sheets so let's take a look at these I will let's start with these um, these are just you know when uh, there's just always been something about the moon. Uh, so when I was a little girl, I thought it was following me because I could remember laying in the back seat of the the car and um, looking at the moon. It's one of my earliest memories, and thinking, "Well, uh, he's following me. He's following me. He's watching me." So it's always been. I've always been very intrigued by the moon. Intrigued to the point that I. Um, I had a company called Moonstruck Promotions, and I had a company called Laughing Moon Promotions Productions, so I've, I've just always gravitated toward the moon. Um, we have pockets that have all kinds of, like I said, creative ephemera from, this one is called I Hear the Whisper of the Stars, all kinds of ephemera, cards, um, big-ish cards like this are in this one as well as you've got 20 pages which is 40 sheets to uh, to you know really just nail down some creativity and whether you use it as uh, like I said you know a dream journal or um, a daily journal. It would make a nice monthly journal. I know that we're going into, it's hard to believe because it's going to be close to 100 here today. You know, we are kind of getting out of the, the frenetic kind of energy that summer gives us, that hot um, sort of um, uncentered kind of feel that summer has. You know, it's full of all kinds of things to do, all kinds of things to see. But as we move into fall and as we enter winter, I think it's a great time to just reflect and renew and kind of reinvigorate yourself. Again, this is called I Hear the Whisper of the Stars right here. Uh, Chris just cranked up downstairs, so I'm gonna scoot over here and close the close the door for just a minute. I'll be right back, and then we'll look at this beautiful journal. Sorry, it's probably still gonna be really loud. This one is called Bloom, and I really love the idea of moving into winter, but still keeping our bloom, ladies. You know, we don't want to, um, we don't want to lose our bloom and selves, right? I hear the whisper of the stars and the call of the pale moon. Like I said, this paper pad was one um, that I had never seen before. I loved everything in it, but I did combine it with other um, other paper pads as well. This is cardstock, okay? You you can, I mean, always um, always kind of swatch things out, you know, on a piece of regular cardstock and see how it adapts to. Um, you know, to your journal, is it going to like bleed through or leak or something like that? 
uh, you know, you never really can tell, but this is nice heavy duty cardstock, not the light stuff, very heavy duty cardstock. You know, you can just like take a page like this and, you know, use these enhancements on here, maybe do some, some writing with white pen. Don't you love that? I just think that the crystals are just so totally beautiful. And then you've got the face of the moon. There are like, um, it's, it's got a goldish effect on it. So I just think that that is really, really super cool. Of course, you know, we can't just have the pockets that are in the book. I will send you another packet of uh, glue book kind of items to put in here as well. So there we go with bloom. This is the, um, I just did a really simple binding on these. Um, I forget what this binding is, but it's just floss and it has uh, embroidery floss and it does have stars and clouds on it. I left these long enough that if you want to clip these things off or, or you know, um, add your own beads you certainly can do that i think beads are just such a pretty thing to add to a journal this one is oh pink moon because i loved these pink moons here just thought that they were really pretty i think another intriguing thing about this paper pad was that it featured flowers butterflies and moons and crystals and constellations so it kind of like just just ran the gamut of everything that that i just totally love totally love so we've got the pockets over here um you guys these uh the pockets are put together with double-sided glue and you know how uh, double-sided tape and you know how sometimes that uh, you know it kind of loses its sticky so um, you know if you if you run across something and it's not quite stuck down just run along it with your finger I know you guys know how to do that love this black with the flowers on it I just mm, it's just like I said and and they have one they had one magical thinking paper pad, and I was like, shoot, you know, am I ever going to be able to find this again? Because I want more. Oh, cards, it's a sparkle. I love this, too, with its little crystals right there. Lots of room to write and draw and imagine and, you know, glue book, do whatever. Do whatever kind of suits your fanciful will. I think this was pink moon mm, okay so now I can't remember <laughs> but I have these listed at Etsy so just look for the cover and uh, you'll be able to identify the book I think I called this one uh, constellations crystals maybe crystals and constellations again you know just look for the cover over at Etsy I should have written it down but I didn't so we have uh, another pocket right here, just chock full of things for you to uh, to create with, to play with, and everything's matching. And that's that's nice when um, I was 65, 64. La oh yeah, don't make yourself older. 64 last Friday, and I was thinking this morning, I just don't have. I just don't have the energy that I did, you know, even like last year, and it's kind of disconcerting, but at the same time, it's like um, I can look at something like this, and I can imagine how it would look as I interacted with the book, and it's like this is, um, you know, when, when you're just not feeling energetic or you're just feeling tired because it's thematic and everything goes together, it's easy to put something together that is quite beautiful that does not take, like, tons and tons of, uh, of time. And this is our last one. Uh, I love the butterflies here. I love the moons. Um, I think that the flowers are just absolutely gorgeous. Just, you know, so many of my 
favorite things and I think that your favorite things as well my dear folks um, you know we are women folk and and we're um, you know we're very attuned to the dynamics of the uh, Sun and the moon and you know the stars and especially the moon um, you know we tend to um, well you guys know what the moon is all about and your you know your courses and things like that again this paper is big these are six by nine so big ish journals they also would uh, snug nicely into the six by nine mega journals that I've been selling over at the shop uh, you know you can just snug in a whole signature because those are wrap bound and allow you to uh, remove things and put things into those journals so we've got a nice big six by nine journal here do you kind of love that to me this looked like um, you know it really did look like uh, watercolor right there I thought it was really really pretty and we have cards back here for you um, just you know you can take this and you can can make things with it you can make bookmarks or tags or whatever you want to have to um, to create just some inspiration for y'all I hope that you um, that you enjoyed this video I am not seeing some good lighting going on in here and I've got everything on so I'm just I'm not sure what it is my dear friends I have these, um, I'll have these going live over at Etsy in just a few minutes. I've already got the photography done for them, so if you just follow the link in the description box below. If this inspired you to take out a paper pad and do some fun, um, like kind of folio-ish kind of journals with pockets in them then do send me a thank you um i've got a thanks set up now didn't know anything about that until somebody pointed it out um so if it inspired you or just made you feel creative then i would appreciate the thanks i get 70 percent of whatever you donate down there so that is always awesome awesome Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Happy August the 5th, my dear friends. Have a great one. See you soon. Bye.